Should you worry about your joints popping? Is that a bad thing? Like when you straighten your elbow and your elbow pops, or your ankle, when you roll your ankles a little bit, do they, do they feel like Rice Krispies? Or what about your hip? Like you go into maybe a side lunge or you wiggle around in the morning and you get this nice big pop in your hip. How about leaning back over the foam roller and you get all these great popping releases in your thoracic spine. Is that a bad thing? Is that a sign that your body is maybe out of alignment and that needs to be improved? Well, let's dive into this question a little bit more and see what we can figure out. So if you're going through a range of motion for the first time during the day, like let's say you haven't really taken your hip into that great side movement uh, yet today, and you know, you've been sitting, having your coffee, relaxing, not really moving a whole lot. So you get a move and you get a pop, that is simply a joint going through a new range of motion. So if I haven't really stretched my fingers yet today and I take my finger back and I pop my joint, okay, that is my finger going through a new range of motion. So when we take joints to end range and they haven't been there in a while, we are releasing pressure from the joint. Now, if you notice you crack your knuckle and then you can't really get it to crack again, that's because you've released the pressure. So if you have one pop, whether it be your mid back when you're stretching, your hip, your ankle, your elbow, whatever, you have that one pop where you release pressure from a joint, that's fine, that's great. And in fact, you should probably move more. So sometimes I see the people that tend to have the most releases tend to be the ones that hold tension and like sit forward at their computer and they're like, oh, everything needs to crack. I need to release everything. And then it's because they have all of that stiffness, okay? So move more, all right, and into lots of positions. So that is a good thing. Now what happens when you walk maybe upstairs and you get a popping sensation in your knee with every step? Now that is a completely different thing. So if that's more of a rubbing of kind of bone on bone, your patella rubbing as you walk up the steps. And so that type of joint popping that can happen repetitively is telling me that there is an alignment issue. Now, whether or not that ends up progressing into something bad, meh, I don't know. It might, it might not. It might eventually cause some patella femoral arthritis um, and pain, or maybe a little bit of light swelling in your knee that ends up being painful when you do a lot of stairs. And then that's telling me, okay, what's going on at the foot and ankle for alignment? What's going on at the hip for alignment? And I'm gonna take a look at that and see what might be happening at that joint to cause a repetitive rubbing. So if we can decrease that, we can decrease the irritation. Now, some people might just have that slight popping that they have the rest of their lives and it never ends up into being something. And then some people it will progress. So some of that comes down to amount of wear and tear and genetics. But if you do have the repetitive popping, that is something I would look into. But the occasional just, I strain my arm and my elbow pops or I bring my finger back or my hip pops, just consider it a good thing. Like, hey, I release pressure from a joint. Awesome, it'll be fine the next day. Now, does the popping, like if you pop your knuckles, does it cause arthritis? Now, this was a question that was posed long ago. There was a med school student who thought, I'm gonna run an experiment on myself, and he popped one hand, one knuckle, every day and did not pop the other hand. Okay, so one hand the knuckles got popped and one hand it didn't, and he did this really long-term investigation. And what he determined years later was that, in fact, his hands were exactly the same. And the, the side that he popped the knuckles was no different than the side he didn't. So apparently releasing pressure from a joint causes no issues whatsoever. So that's pretty cool. So if you enjoy cracking joints and moving them into end ranges, go for it. It can be a healthy part of movement.